someone walks up to you and says, I just conceived a child, should I keep it or abort it? What would you say? It's pretty crazy, right? Well, it's kind of the same as those writers saying, I've just written this screenplay, it's about this and that, and then they ask, do you think I should pursue it or dump it? Well, you know, I'm not the person to answer that question. Only you can. I know what you're thinking. You don't know if your idea is good enough, it's hard to be objective about your own work, and I'm the expert, I get that, but I'm not the expert on what people want to see in cinemas next year. And also, you need to make your own career decisions. I may be a story expert, but I don't have your unique perspective, your experiences. I don't know your goals. Screenwriting is tough, and I don't know what you are prepared to do. What are you prepared to do? Everyone's opinion is subjective. Part of this subjectivity is the attitude to risk. I'm more risk averse than most screenwriters, but the average person will think I'm a crazy risk taker. After all, I work in the film industry. If you ask someone conservative whether you should pursue a wildly imaginative fantasy script, of course they're going to say no. But ask a fellow creative, they'll probably tell you, go for it. Here's the other thing. As William Goldman said, nobody knows anything. Half the movies out there, you wonder, how did that get made? The next thing, they clean up at the box office. By the way, if you want a market appraisal, don't ask a script consultant, ask an exhibitor or a producer. What's wrong with it? It's from hunger. Nothing for lad? It was just a rehash of something that wasn't very good to begin with. I'm sure you'll be glad to meet Mr. Gillis. He wrote it. This is Miss Kramer. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Gillis, but I just didn't think it was any good. I found it flat and trite. You know what is the most dangerous thing about leaving the fate of your script in other people's hands? You're eroding your own judgment. Keep doing it and soon there won't be much left of it. Make your own decisions. Live with the consequences and learn from the outcomes. By asking others, you will end up doubting your own judgment instead of sharpening it. And that's the worst thing when you're pursuing uh, anything creative. What if you asked a lot of people instead of one? After all, in the multitude of counselors, there's safety, right? Sure, you can cast a wide net. But what if the general opinion goes against your gut? It still comes down to empowering yourself to make the decision rather than leaving it in someone else's hands. If your gut says to go for it, go for it. If it doesn't work out, you learn and move on, and you sharpen your gut instinct. But if you don't try, and someone else hits it big with the idea, that's worse than someone stealing it. This idea is potentially worth millions of dollars. Millions? Yes. It might just be letting your imaginations run away with you. So what's the solution? Should you never ask anyone for their opinion? Of course you should. But instead of pushing or dumping a project, get feedback on what is working and what is not. Understand the strengths and weaknesses like you would from a script analysis report. By the way, those should never tell you to dump a script. It's just intel so you can make an informed decision. And those are the questions anyone is happy to answer. Ask me uh, if your story is clear or whether the structure is sound. Ask me if I like the way you describe your characters. I'll give you my subjective opinion with some supporting argument or evidence. Your final decision then follows the sum total of the feedback you receive. Masterpiece. Oh, thank you, boss. All right. Bottom line, own your creative decisions. Don't ask the expert if your idea is good enough to spend the next year perfecting it. Use their advice to inform your choices, not to have them made for you. Embrace the anxiety that may flow from it. It will make you stronger. Be informed by their feedback, but driven by your passion and goals. Keep writing, keep learning, and keep owning your creative path. Let me leave you with one question and two recommendations. Do you really believe that your idea is better than anything you can come up with if you tried hard every day for a week? Perhaps you haven't done that exercise? Well, perhaps you should. Then write the best logline you can and see if you can excite people with it. That's the big picture. After all, even with a great script, you still need people to read it, and a great logline can help. If you already have a script, how do you keep people reading? With that, my friends, I can help you. Make sure your writing style is at the highest level by learning from the greatest, by emulating their style, and then honing your own. Check the suite of immersion screenwriting courses. The links are below. There's probably one that fits your bill. You'll be immersed in the writing style of the best in the industry, and it will flow from your fingers. And remember, own your creative path. Happy learning, happy writing. Cheers.